this video, I'm going to show you uh, Dime 146 pressure that is pretty good against Trips tight end. Really good Trips defense in this video for you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you would like to get my Dime 146 defensive ebook, I really believe that it is one of the better defenses in the game this year. There's so many little things about Dime 146 that make it really powerful. One of my favorite things about it is actually the alignment uh, advantage that we're going to get and the ability we can adjust uh, this defense with. So if you want to get the full defensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. Link is in the description. Patreon members get access to all of my Madden 23 ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks as well. So how do we want to blitz trips tight end? My favorite thing to do is we're going to come out in this DB Sting 2 buzz. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to simply audible to the play DB Sting. Now, when we do that, what's going to happen here is this guy, we're going to just move him just a step or two. That's it. And then from there, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, um, what I like to do with my middle linebacker is I, uh, we're going to go ahead and pinch our line, crash our line down, of course. Um, but what I like to do with this linebacker, I don't like to man him up on the running back. What I like to do is actually man him up onto the number three or the, the outside receiver there. And then we're going to go ahead and outside third that player. This is going to help with C routes. It's actually going to help pretty pretty well with corner routes as well. Um, and then we're just going to use the running back. Most of the time in trips, they don't put the running back on a route. Okay. Um, and if they do, you'll see here that we just have to lurk the running back quick and we're able to stop it. Now you're seeing how good of a blitz this is. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, you can do this. Um, let me show you. If you want to just come out in DB Sting, I'll show you another variation of this. So if you just want to come out in DB Sting uh, and you don't want the audible stuff, you'll see this is what it looks like, okay? So we're just going to pinch the line. We're going to press. Now, what you need to understand about this defense is if they motion over. So everything is pretty much the same. The only problem is if they motion anybody over, okay? If they motion over, I want you to watch what happens. You're going to see something really important. This guy on the right side is going to, in this example, he stays. He does not always stay, and that's the big thing you got to pay attention to, okay? So as trip, the biggest thing trips can do to really mess you up is use motion. So here, that's a really good example. So you see when they motion this number two receiver, you see how my, my play art gets messed up? So how do we fix it? We're just going to base the line and press. So if they motion from a trips into two by two, simply base the line and press, and then your alignment is going to be perfect. And what you'll see is if they run the running back on a route, we're going to go get him. And you see how incredible the pressure is from this formation. Okay. So literally you can just come out and DB sting, pinch your line. Um, you see how it just kind of gives them that little flare and then you're just going to stand right here. Now, if you want to man this guy up on the running back, be my guest. I, you could either do that. You could put him on a hard flat. You could put him on a hook curl. These are all really good adjustments. Okay. Um, I actually think just generally outside 30, this guy is fine because most of the time he's either going to be on a streak or a C route. Um, so you don't even have to cross man him. Uh, the, the player you want to watch out for is certainly the tight end and the running back. Those are kind of some key players you want to look for. So you want to be kind of lurking this direction anyway. And then if you need to come back over, you will. Okay. So really simple. And, and, and it really is. Now, and again, I want to stress this though. Who, If they motion somebody, if they motion somebody, baseline and press. And then that's it. That's it. And the defense is fine. Everything is everything is solid. If they block a running back, generally speaking, you should be fine getting pressure. You see how good the pressure is. the The pressure from one four six comes in so fast, um, and and that's what makes it so powerful. Okay, so you know again, you could man this guy up, and then if they block the running back, watch what he'll do. You'll see here he'll just kind of lurk over the middle anyway. So you can man the running back up if you want to. He'll help a lot. Um, I personally would recommend, again, I, I would just recommend taking this guy and putting him on a, a zone, either a curl flat or a hook curl, um, something, so that I know that I can help way more over here. That's where the defense needs your help the most in this formation is to the right side of the screen. So if they run a wheel route, you're getting out here and going and guarding it. As you can see, everything else is pretty much bagged. 
and by that time the pressure's coming in. One four six is an incredible defense. It's actually really easy to adapt this defense. Another thing I want to show you is if you wanted to run um, this, you know, four man blitz. This is actually a pretty good trips blitz because of the alignment of the formation. The four man blitz is really good out of one four six. So you got to understand with one four six, it really does give you a pretty advantageous um, alignment. Like a coverage variation of this is really simple. We're going to man up the running back. And then what I like to do here, um, if you look at this this um, this guy, you can actually put this guy in an outside third. So what we could do in theory, if we were worried about a tight end corner, we could put this guy in an outside third, and then we could cross man the tight end so that we have inside leverage on him, and we could kind of go about it like this. And we still have that ability to get that four-man pressure against uh, trips. Really nice little defense. So the beauty of this is that this defense is as adaptable as you want it to be. That's one of the many strengths of 146. Uh, one of the reasons why, you know, this was, I think, the second ebook that I released this year. Uh, I think I released it the first week the game was out. Really, really powerful. And you can do some really cool stuff. You could do a, a coverage defense that looks like this. And the beauty of this is, again, it's really easy to play coverage defense out of this. Everything looks exactly the same, but now we have those outside thirds to help us on those corner routes, and now they're going to have to, you know, throw a covered read. So you want to be mixing in your pressure, your pressure, and your coverage defenses as well. But that's how you run uh, some really good 146 trips defense. If you want to learn the rest of this defense, make sure you get my trips tight or um, my 146 defensive ebook. The link is in the description. If you want to go sign up for the Patreon for just ten dollars, you'll get access, instant access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks in the Patreon, as well as a personal messaging platform. If you have any questions, so thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of this video and click the link down below. And we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.